yo what is up guys I'm gonna keep this video really short and to the point first I want to say um, all the stuff about the gambling the stunts the drinking I told my lawyer I did not want that in there and he will do exactly just that he will take it out so that is no worries that is out of my way what I really want to talk about is the main point I never wanted to upset anybody I never wanted to bring that stuff in I never wanted to get anybody to get emotional because this isn't about that this is about me and this contract this contract that I signed when I didn't know any better, I'm an idiot, I should have never signed it in the first place. This three year contract. What is in this contract is so bizarre, it's so fucked. I wish you guys could see this thing because I can't even fathom it. This contract basically allows FaZe at any point in three years to just fucking take all my hard earnings and all my hard work and just strip it. Over 49%, over 79%. These, what is in this contract is insane, and that's not even the worst parts. And what I'm trying to do here is just serve justice to the esports community, the esports industry. These kids are getting ripped off, they're getting taken advantage of. These contracts are not okay, and this needs to never happen again. And there's tons of people in contracts this bad, just like me. And I'm the first person to stand up and say, this is fucked, this is not right, this is not cool, this is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. And if only you guys could see what is in this contract. I can't disclose what is within this contract, but FaZe Clan, please release the contract for the public to see. Fuck, let me show the public. Just give me permission to show these people the truth. The truth that is within this contract. That's all I really have to say. Show the fucking contract, FaZe. Release the fucking contract. Everybody, Hashtag release the fucking contract. <laughs> release it. always sign stuff with a way out because what happens is you sign a long-term contract right they technically have you for that contract if you don't have a way out of it right so if you sign a contract and you're a small streamer and the contract is for five hundred dollars a month salary and then you blow up to where t fuel is if they got you on a three-year co contract and they literally only have to pay you 500 bucks as your salary Unless you have something in there that states that uh, you can renegotiate the contract, uh, you can buy the contract out, or you can exit the contract or terminate for some way, shape, or form. And that's something that young people don't know. That's something that just they don't know. Like, you, you wouldn't know that if you were a kid playing video games and you blew up. Like I said, like he, I think he signed a contract when he was like maybe 18, 19 or some shit. So, signing that contract at 18, 19. When I was 18, 19, I was a kid. I was a little bit smarter than a lot of people. Like signing these contracts and stuff, because I was 27 when I started signing like esports contracts and stuff. I had a lot more life experience, but a lot of these guys like they just got them on fucking crazy ass contracts for long ass terms without the ability to renegotiate so or get bizarre. out. It's so crazy. fucked. I wish you guys could see this thing because I can't even fathom it. This contract basically allows FaZe at any point in three years to just fucking take all my hard earnings and all my hard work and just strip it over 49 percent over 79 percent these what is in this contract is insane and that's not even the worst parts and what i'm trying to do here is just serve justice to the esports community the esports industry these kids are getting ripped off they're getting taken advantage of i've been saying chat not okay and this saying that chat
I'm just saying I'm always biased, always 100% pro player, whatever you want to call that shit. Because these esports orgs are fucking ripping people off. Not all of them. Some of them do good business and stuff. A lot of these esports orgs these are fucking again. savage. And there's tons of people. It should, be, it should be illegal what they're doing to some of these kids. It should. It should be illegal, but it's not. They're actually doing it legally. They're legally robbing kids. So, yeah. I'm always supportive bad, of players because like they're getting screwed And up. I'm the first person to stand up. And, and if you don't believe me, even even when I was on an org or when Apex first came out or Fortnite first came out, I always, like, you can go look back at my tweets. I've tweeted multiple times that said, get a lawyer to look over your contract, right? Like, have someone look at your contract. Do not just sign some shit because you you think you're about to live the dream of being a professional esports player. Don't sign. Like, a lot of kids are just signing. They're not looking at their contracts. This is not right. This is They're not also, cool. like, and a, and a lot of people, like, what these orgs do is, like, they, they, they try to make it seem like they are the sole reason for the success of these kids. Bro, like, FaZe is not the reason why T-Few blew up. If T-Few wasn't on FaZe, he would have been on, and he was on, like, NRG or anywhere, not even on a fucking org. Him winning tournaments, him killing Ninja, like, 18 fucking times. Like, him killing me and fucking putting me in videos and shit when I was at, like, a high point in Fortnite. Uh, him, like, 1v1 and a lot of kids and doing a lot of shit. Like, really, really helped this guy blow up. It had nothing to do with, like, FaZe. Like, I really don't think they had much to do with his success. That shit was coming regardless. The kid is talented, and he's one of the most talented Fortnite players out there. There's only a handful of players that can fucking go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a T-Feel, a fucking ninja, and, like, people like that. So, he was going to blow up regardless, just based off of how good he is. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. And if only you guys could see... What is in this contract? I can't disclose what is within this contract, but FaZe Clan, please release the contract for the public to see. Fuck, let me. And that's another thing. Like, what's what I was talking about? I tweeted, you could go look. I tweeted maybe two days ago. Sorry to keep pausing it and shit, but some stuff I just got to talk about. I tweeted like maybe two or three days ago when this first happened. And I said, the only problem that I have is that there's no transparency between org player and the public, right? He's asking him to release his contract because under his contract, he can't talk about his fucking contract. That is shady business, if you've ever asked me. Like, why would you not want me to be able to talk about my contract? Why can't I tell people how much money I make per year off of my contract? How come we can't disclose this information to the public and to other players so another player could know what they're worth? Like, there might be another player coming up that's like where TFU is. They should know and be able to see a contract like that to have something to go off but all that shit is hitting hitting and it's allowing shady business like that is shady the fact that they high contracts if i want to go and see how much lebron makes a year when he's out of his contract and when he could be traded if he could be traded i can google it his information is public so other players that are similar to lebron or free agents or looking to sign contracts and stuff they can go and look at all these other contracts from other players and see what they should be getting and what they shouldn't be getting and in a case of esports, they hide everything and they do it on purpose because they're robbing people legally behind closed doors. And I hope that this brings light to it. There needs to be a player union. We don't have a player union or a content creator union. We don't have that shit in esports. It needs to be a union. Orgs need to be held account accountable. And honestly, orgs need to find a way to actually make themselves viable. Because as it stands, you don't need an org to compete in the biggest game on the planet, which is Fortnite. There's so many people who aren't on orgs that qualify for for uh, for World Cup, and now all the orgs are trying to get to these guys and literally feed off of the success that other people are doing. Like orgs have to find a way to make themselves worth it because, as I see it, like they are fucking rot. Like a lot of these orgs, not all of them, a lot of these orgs are, are robbing kids blind. Me show the public. Just give me permission to show these people the truth. Not going the to. The truth that is within this contract. That's all I really have to say. Show the fucking contract, FaZe. Release the fucking contract. Everybody, hashtag release the fucking contract. Release it. Please.